Well, before she was the Duchess of Sussex, Meghan Markle had forged an impressive career for herself in Hollywood. But her passion for the arts began at an early age, at school. The young Megan was a favourite during her high school plays under the guidance of her teacher, Gigi Perot. A Hollywood legend in her own right, Gigi was one of the first people to earn a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And now she couldn't be more proud of her most famous student. Let's say hello, Gigi Perot. Welcome to the show. Uh, your career started when you were just two years old. 85 credits later, why did you just start, uh, decide to start teaching? Well, it, you know, it was interesting. My children were, were grown, and um, uh, it, it's just, it's an amazing way to give back. Um, I just felt I, I had an opportunity to, to teach at my alma mater, uh, Immaculate Heart High School. And um, as a result, it, it gave me a wonderful opportunity to, as I said, share, but also I learned a tremendous amount teaching. It's, it's incredible what you learn from young people if you just listen to them and hear what they have to say. You mentioned the Immaculate Heart High School where you taught for more than 20 years. Uh, this is, of course, where you met Meghan Markle. What was she like as a student? She was absolutely adorable. I mean, um, she, she, I, always, I always said she had a certain sparkle about her and um, uh, sparkle Markle. Um, she really, she really yeah, was a standout right student, and, and she isn't the only um, standout student I had. I had, I had several that were remarkable and have gone on to do wonderful things. But Megan, Megan really did, uh, did have a special quality. Uh, she was very loving. She was very generous with the other actors when she was on stage, um, and she was not only interested in theater. She was also quite a humanitarian, even then. Um, she was very active in the religion department um, and she would go down on weekends and feed the homeless and, and uh, uh, do lovely works at, at convalescent homes and hospitals. Mm. So it, it is no surprise to me um, where Megan has, has come throughout all these years. Yes, she was very driven. Um, I would say she, she wanted to be a star. She wanted to be a success. Um, but there's more to it, I think. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm very concerned right now um, because I'm just hoping that all of this will, will turn out to be the right move that she and her husband have done, uh, Prince Harry. Um, I think they're an amazing couple. I respect them tremendously. And, um, and again, it was a, a wonderful experience for me to work with Megan because at that point, uh, she was living with her dad and uh, Tom volunteered. He was a, a lighting designer for one of the major uh, TV stations in Los Angeles. And when we were doing our shows at Immaculate Heart, our musicals and our, uh, and our dramatic shows, uh, Tom would do the lighting for us. And not only did he do the lighting, but he worked with the students and he taught them and he, he mentored um, the students in lighting and sound design and uh, and usually on weekends when we were there for hours and hours and hours Tom would disappear and come back with a bunch of food for everybody for the cast okay. and crew wow. um, I'm sorry he's been put in such a difficult position yeah um, as I said I have nothing but positive things to say about Megan and about Tom. And what about their relationship back then? Because millions of words in the news cycle have been spent on trying to work out what this relationship is and was. How, how was it uh, for you looking back at this relationship when well, it she was, was It was wonderful. I mean, here was a, here was a dad who, who uh, you know, would come to the, the set or the, or the school after, after work and, uh, and help. And, and Megan would, you know, be assisting him with things and, and then they would go home together. Um, their relationship was wonderful. He was a very devoted dad. I know he, he loves Megan tremendously. Um, what happened afterwards, I have no idea. I would not even, even pretend to be judgmental about anything that might have happened. Um, Tom was a very gentle person. Um, he was very kind uh, and very, very shy. Yeah. Uh, what about the... Definitely what about behind the, the camera person. Yeah. 
What about her sister Samantha? A lot written about uh, Samantha Markle as well. What What was your observation of the of the big sister? Um, I never met her. I never saw her. Um, she did not come to any of the shows that I was aware of. She might have. Um, I met I met uh, Tom's older son uh, several times. He came to school when we were doing the shows, um, but I I never met Samantha. Okay. I, I, Okay. Don't know her at all. Uh, we're nearly right out of time, but we have to touch on this. You were spotted by Megan on her wedding day. Uh, talk us through how that played out. Oh, that was such fun. I was I was there for ITV, and uh, my daughter and I uh, got a lovely trip to London my first time there. And when the royal carriage came down the pathway, I was right up at the fence, right just about where the camera is now. And, and Megan turned, and I was carrying an Immaculate Heart pendant. And I'm sure that must have caught her eye, but she, she looked and there was a moment of recognition, which was absolutely lovely. Uh, whether it really, really was true or not, everyone around me said, oh, Kiki, she recognized you, she knew you. And I said, I hope so. I'm here. I love her. And uh, if she saw me, I'm, I'm delighted. Uh, but it was fun. It was a wonderful experience being there for the wedding. It truly was. Terrific, Gigi. Well, we appreciate your time. We spend so much time talking about Megan on this program. It's nice to go all the way back to where it started. We enjoyed talking oh, to you this morning. Thank, thank you. you. And I would love to someday go to Australia. I'd love to work there sometime. I'm ready. Ready, willing, ready and to able. Go. Ready to go. All right. well, we know where to find you, Gigi. Um, thank you so much.